Hey everyone, it's April and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my dog, Baron. He is very notorious for throwing his toys around by himself, running in a circle, and it just always cracks me up. So I thought I would film it and share it with you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some new bead decor that I recently picked up a little early. I usually don't do the beads until summer, but I've been seeing a lot out, so I've been picking it up as I see it. So if you want to see what I've been finding, then keep on watching. First stop, Hobby Lobby. Last year, I know they had a nice little collection of cute things, but I was late to the game, so I missed out. So this time, I thought I would start looking early, and I noticed in the spring shop line, they definitely put some new things out. First is this Be Sweet and Bumble sign. It just has like a jute twine rope to hang it, and I thought that one was really cute. Price on that one was only $5.99 with 40% off. This sign that says be happy is probably my favorite one. I thought this was so cute for $4.99. Just the writing, the drawings of the little bees and the distressing on it, so cute. And then this let it be one I also thought was pretty nice. I did, however, um, sand and distress the edges myself. And this one was also $5.99 with 40% off. Perfect size little signs for tier trays. Um, and then this sign I spotted as I was walking out. It said fresh and local sweet honey. Has this metal B in the center. It's kind of like 3D. Thought that was really cute. I love the daisies. Um, and this was $18 with 40% off. And I'm kind of picky when I'm looking for bee stuff, especially with the color yellow. I love it to be more of like that goldy yellow and not such a like bright true yellow. So when I see them, I definitely pick them up. Um, I also decided to go into Walmart and I saw they have a bee line as well this year. This sign, I thought the detailing was so pretty with the flowers and the honeycomb and it was $7.98. And it's a pretty decent sized sign for the price. Uh, like the shape of it, just very unique. And then this round one that says Farm Fresh Honey has some cute little wooden beads on the top and honeycomb design. And this one was $5.98. Again, nice little size. Um, definitely was kind of lagging in the sign department, so I was happy to find um, just some more things to add to my collection. And there were a few other things my store just didn't put everything out yet, so have to definitely go back and see what else they have. Next, I went into Home Goods and I saw this blanket um, on clearance, which I was kind of shocked that it was on sale because it's definitely more of like a spring summer throw. But uh, it's by the brand Rachel Zoe. And I'm trying to figure out where the price is on it, kind of hiding under here. But I love the tassels on this and just those like um, pom pom designs. Uh, this was $24.99 on clearance for $18, so not like a crazy discount, but definitely savings. And uh, this kind of goes with uh, my white curtains, has the same kind of pom-pom design that I uh, keep up for spring and summer. So I thought this would be a nice addition, perfect color yellow, and I'll probably put it on my blanket ladder. Next, I went to a local shop. I found this wooden butterfly um, that's purple and yellow. I, For Easter I and spring, I like to stick with like a purple and yellow theme. So I thought this would go really nicely. It's distressed and just something a little more unique and different because when I do decorate for spring and Easter, it'll be a lot of bunnies. So just to add some like flowers and butterflies are always a nice thing just to mix it up a little bit. Um, speaking of flowers, I found this daisy that is made with like a real rustic kind of corrugated metal and a lot of chippy paint and distressing. Absolutely love this and it's on a wooden stake. So I could either put this outside or inside like in a basket or a vase or something, but I'll definitely find a spot for these two cuties. 
And then lastly is just kind of like a little mixture of things. First, I got this towel, which is by the brand Primitives by Kathy. And this is what it looks like when it's all opened up. And I actually have a sign that matches this perfectly that I got last year. And I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually put that in the kitchen or just like hang it up somewhere. I just like the design. And then this stuffed bee that is on a stick also got from a local shop. I shared one of these last year. I decided to pick up another one when I saw she had them again. Um, I got this little mini pillow that has a real cute daisy on it. Some yellow plaid. Again, the perfect yellow. So I thought that would be a cute little addition for spring. And I don't remember if I shared this bee um, kind of pale planter. It was 49 cents at the thrift store. I got it a few months ago, but I figured I'd reshare it with the bee stuff, um, as well as this little Boyd's bear that uh, he's a little bee skep with a little bee on top. So cute. And then this 10 cent honey pot I got at a thrift store. I think this was like 50 cents. It's not in the best of shape, but cute nonetheless. And then lastly, all of these bees, um, they're a mixture of metal and wood, and they're all things that I've found at thrift stores in the last like couple months that were either on like signs or different things that I didn't particularly like, but I knew the potential of just using these for some DIY projects, making some little signs. That one's wooden. These ones are metal ones that are kind of on like a wire or a string. But I just, I thought these were so cute and very inexpensive. Like getting each of these for like 50 cents or a quarter, taking apart the signs is so easy. It gets you some really unique pieces. Things that would definitely be a lot harder to find in the craft stores. But that is it, kind of a little hodgepodge of things and items from local shops and thrift stores, but definitely keep your eye out this time of year for some hidden gems. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed getting this little summer preview of bee decor that I've been finding lately. I've also picked up some really cute Easter bunny decor items and things that I will probably share in my next video. But until then, um, if you are new here today, definitely consider subscribing. Follow me over on Instagram at house to home underscore XOXO. And I'll see you in the next one.